Next up, a way to cull adverts from your surfing experience. There are actually programs and plugins out there that can get rid of those annoying pop-ups and banners. Tupforma takes a look. You know those annoying, unwanted ads that catch you off guard and pop out of nowhere? Well, they not only distract you from your kitten video surfing, they can also chow bandwidth. Well, now you don't have to see them if you don't want to. Ad blocker is best suited for those who enjoy surfing on Safari. It's simple, effective, and found in the browser's extensions. This plugin downloads in a few seconds, even over a slow internet connection. Once installed, you'll see a new button in Safari's toolbar with the Adblock logo on it, which links you to Adblock's editable preferences, filter lists, and whitelist, so you can fully customize what you do and don't block. If you want an ad-free Internet Explorer experience, Simple Adblock can free up some space on your browser. Simple Adblock blocks ads before they are downloaded by Internet Explorer and hides the occupied space with element hiding. With this add-on, there's no need for creating any advanced filter lists. Just select your country and go for it. Upon installation, a welcome page will appear when you open Internet Explorer. The basic configuration is made on the welcome page, and because Simple Adblock is automatically updated, Simple Adblock will actually run within Internet Explorer without any further configuration. Over on Chrome, the Adblock Plus plugin is one of the most used extensions, with the latest version even blocking out those video ads that we encounter on YouTube. While there's no layout of the actual program to speak of, it doesn't leave blank spaces where ads once were. It modifies Chrome's layout to make it look like the ads were never there in the first place. There are sometimes little jumps where ads would be in web video, but it's hardly noticeable. Adblock Plus also works really well on Firefox. The ad blocker runs in the background and is not a resource hog, like other add-ons and Firefox itself. There were a few compatibility issues in the past with Firefox themes and skins, but the latest version has fixed most, if not all, the bugs that were there. With these blockers at hand, there's no more fuss during surfing. Do some research and find out which blocker suits your needs, and you'll find that there's nothing quite like a bit of smooth sailing.